scientific temper. The term scientific temper was coined by the first Prime Minister of India, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, in 1946 in his book The Discovery of India according to him the scientific temper is the attitude to search for the new bodies of knowledge not to accept anything without a proof or a test What is scientific temper? A scientific temper is a state of mind which does not accept or believe anything but the truth and think logically and rationally. In other words, to have a rational attitude. Scientific temper is the application of a scientific method in day-to-day -day life which includes questioning, observing physical reality, testing, analyzing and communicating. The scientific temper describes an attitude which involves the application of logic. Discussion, argument and analysis are the vital part of scientific temper. August 20, 2018, the fifth death anniversary of the rationalist Narendra Dabulkar was marked as National Scientific Temper Day. Narendra was the founder of Maharashtra Blind Faith Eradication Committee. Narendra was also the founder of Maharashtra Andhshraddha Nirmulan Samiti. He worked very hard to spread the scientific temper and the ideas of rationalism. For this, he was assassinated on August 20, 2013. According to the article 51A bar H in the Indian Constitution tells that it shall be the duty of every citizen to develop the scientific temper humanism and the spirit of inquiry and reform importance of scientific temper it inculcates self learning and self efforts attitude amongst the people It helps to solve day-to-day -day problems. It builds up an attitude where an individual believes the facts only based on the evidences. It arouses the curiosity in an individual. to develop suspecticism it helps to develop the ability in the three domain namely cognitive domain affective domain and psychomotor domain and hence sharpens the cognitive skill affective skills and psychomotor skills helps to acquire new knowledge helps in disciplining of mind to develop the rational attitude among an individual it also helps to eradicate the superstitious beliefs or false belief the barriers which come in the way in the development of scientific temper are the family it may be due to lack of education 
it may be the influence of peer group it may be believing more of superstitious belief or by cultural practices some of the educational implications which has to be made in order to develop scientific temper among the individuals are the curriculum through the library work by organizing the co-curricular activities or science club activities thus scientific temper helps in removing the superstitious belief and help people to change their attitude and the way of thinking in different concepts and help them to lead a systematic way of life such attitude will boost the country's techno social development